Hello everyone, welcome back to the Rec Room Gaming, or just the Rec Room, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're playing Soul Reaver still, this is episode 2. And uh, one thing i like to mention is sorry about the audio quality in the last episode. Um, for some reason it didn't pick up that I was using a microphone, so I was using like the laptops. And it sounded absolutely terrible. Hopefully uh, it's much better now. Uh, where we left off, um, I was not dying. As you can see with the blue electricity. But, um, uh, we just entered this world. Uh, we're in front of this, uh, Kane stronghold. Um, we got, we got a little insight into Blood Omen of why the world is, um, a little not so green. And, uh, that's because, uh, he, he's like, uh, the balance guardian of these, uh, things called the pillars. I don't know. It's really, uh really in-depth. I probably can't do it justice to explain it myself. Um, but pretty much he made a decision. If uh, if he was willing to kill himself, it would save the world. But he didn't. Instead, he just decided to uh, be a vampire king. And uh, this is the result. So now we got monsters roaming free. And uh, yeah. So let's beat this guy up. I love using weapons in this game because uh, you're so useful. You feel so helpless when you don't have any like items to uh, kill enemies with, but when you finally have a weapon, then you're like the most powerful motherfucker there is. Oh shit, I didn't realize he was there. Oh, that just looks so cool, just thrusting them up in the air and just completely impaling them. So if I didn't absorb their souls, um, well, they would, uh, they would just stay there and I wouldn't be able to pick up my weapon without them, uh, coming back. Shit. Uh, obviously my, uh, my scope skills are not the best. Oh, shit. He saw me. Well, that ruins the entire moment. I was gonna throw a spear at him, it would kill him instantly. Just my luck. Uh, so right now, we are just exploring the world and finding out what exactly just happened. Oh, uh, there's a guy over there, so I just wanna sneak right past. Uh, so yeah, how you find those gates in the last episode is uh, through these doors. Oh, it's pretty dark. Okay, well, let's activate this thing. So now we got two gates open. We got one for the nether, or, um, underworld, whatever. And, uh, one for this portal area. Which, if you look closely, it looks oddly similar to, uh, a place we saw in the opening. Uh, a problem with these early PlayStation games is that um, they weren't particularly good on, on uh, lighting. So a lot of uh, rooms are just unbearably dark. It's not too bad in this game. Like, sometimes it can be a little annoying. But uh, for the most part, it's okay. Uh, one thing you have to get used to is um, using L2 and R2 to turn the camera. Because analogs uh, were just starting and... No one really thought of using the second analog. So, that's the cool thing about um, sharp shooting. Saves you a whole fight. You don't really lose health. Since uh, the combat can be a little iffy sometimes. Hey, why is it lagging? I've only seen it lag on the PS3. This, at least, had remained constant. The endlessly swirling vortex of the abyss, my tomb, and the womb of my rebirth. Though much of Noscoth's landscape had changed, these cliffs gave me my bearings. My clan territory was to the west. I was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. 
Uh, so there was Kane. He's like the big boss of the of the whole world here in Nosgoth. But um, uh, Raziel and his five other brothers, they're like lieutenants who uh, run different sections. And uh, right now, Raziel wants to go check out uh, his clan. See how they're doing. So that's exactly what we're going to do. You're just going to have a stare off here, buddy, or are you going to come hit me? Are you coming? Oh, I fucking love this music. Fucking one hit kill. What a what a loser. Am I right? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, my jokes are terrible. Man, it's actually pretty dark. Either that or it's like a glare on my TV. I love all the different like symbols detailing where exactly you are in the map. Fuck off, camera. Uh, you can use X to help you uh, gain your bearings. Quit fucking hitting me, dude. Extra hit for good luck. There we go. Um, I think I'm gonna ditch that spear and get one of these uh, cool, cool ones from my territory. Utter desolation. My once proud kin wiped from this world like excrement from poop. Excrement meaning poop. I knew the hand that wrought this deed. Huh. So it seems like uh, my entire territory is uh, abandoned. And uh, it's all run by du uh, Dumas things. Another uh, uh, door to a gate. Eat him. It gets a little tedious with the fighting, just having to uh, beat them up, stab them, suck their soul, do the next one. Uh, you'll find a lot of these torches around for, uh, later. Uh, before I go there, I want to get that gate. I'm not entirely sure. Should I get through all the secrets to this, or should I just play through the game? I also love how there's no loading screens throughout this entire game. There's that one right before right when you uh, boot it up, but that's it. Unless you uh, restart the game or something, then yeah, there will be a loading screen. But um, yeah, other than that, you don't see it, which is pretty uh, innovative. Especially for the 90s and PlayStation especially, because uh, the PlayStation was bad for loading screens. like. It was nothing but loading screens most of the game, and uh, they were really long and boring. Okay, why does it lag? I've never seen it happen on it until I play it on this on this system. I also love how uh, some maps are intertwined. Like if you go down here, it'll lead you uh, towards where the fifth boss. Bosses. Fifth or fourth, one or the other. Hello. There's a lot of freshly killed bodies around here. 
I love how uh, I love the enemy placement sometimes because some of them just like pop out of nowhere and uh, it's almost like a jump scare. Uh, it alerts you knowing to uh, keep you on the edge of your seat. Don't get too comfortable. Yeah, I don't get this lag. Okay, come on, camera. I need you to focus here. Controlling the camera sometimes is a pain. Fuck yeah. Alright, uh, we're about um, halfway to the first boss, well at least the, the first area, and uh, that's it for uh, Soul Reaver today. Um, see you guys in the next episode.